Ashley Harding has been live in Middleburg all morning where neighbors and power crews are starting to clean up. And, and Ashley, I know, you know, I know you were telling us, you know, your height before you said five foot four. Yeah, I mean, so that I mean, that's just a yeah, huge Nikki, damage. I'm pretty short. It really is, Nikki, and I'm not tall, okay? I'm 5'4", but, you know, this is a tree. You can see it's been uprooted. It is taller than I am, this end of it sticking up. We're here in front of this, this mobile home. This is on Palmetto Street. If you can see, if you look at this side of it, this tree went right on top of that mobile home. The man who lives here tells me he was inside when this all happened. He tells me his daughter was not. Let's look around. This isn't just the only damage at this mobile home on Palmetto Street. You know, neighbors have been waking up. They've been coming out. They've been looking at what one of their own is dealing with this morning. It's just so much going on. But look back here. This is something else. This is really gives you an idea. It seems like maybe the storm just kind of billowed through here because that's another uprooted tree right there. It landed in the neighbor's yard. You can see it's on this side of the fence. That's another uprooted tree. So second one. And then there's a third one right by the back porch. Now think if that uh, this tree right here, if it had landed this way, if it had fallen in this direction, you know, you're talking about a potential double whammy there, but that man tells me he was inside when this happened. He said he heard it started to rattle. He realized what was going on. He tells me his daughter was not there. She actually was babysitting somewhere else in the neighborhood. He was so thankful that she was not here because who knows what could have happened. But a lot of people described what those moments felt like right before that storm hit. This is what that man tells me right now. He said he admitted he was nervous. Here, here's what he said. I'd walk back into the living room and that's when the transformers all started popping. Uh, so I'd grab my flashlight and I was walking back into the kitchen when everything just it started rattling real hard. And then the next thing I knew, I just heard a whoom and I felt, you know, the rush of air come through the house. So I turned around and just ushered the dogs back into my bedroom to keep them away from everything. And that man was concerned about his pets. You can see all of what's left behind here. There's lots of cinder blocks left behind. That's a grill. And several parts of the mobile home are here on the ground as well. Something I'll go ahead and show you. They're, so they were concerned about their kitty. Their kitty is okay. You can see he's right there on the back porch. They were concerned about the cat because they weren't sure if uh, he was inside or outside. We all know how attached we are to our pets. So that is something that this family is thankful for, but still lots of power outages. We've seen power crews throughout the morning really working round the clock to restore power in Clay County. You know, man emergency management still wants people to be very cautious. There are still some tree limbs out and about and even some power lines at last check. So just be cautious as you're making your way out. And of course, reach out to Clay County Emergency Management if you have any damage to your home. Live in Clay County, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.